Can you imagine knowing the ideal messages to make a woman fall in love with you? Would you like to know how to have attractive conversations online, to the point of getting a woman hooked, who wants to talk to you more and more? Then stay until the end of this video, because I am going to show you that generating attraction, seducing and conquering online is totally possible, and I am also going to reveal three messages that make a woman fall in love with you. I am Pamela Raquel, an expert in relationships and conquest, and I help men to have more confidence, security and win relationships with valuable women. Many people think that passion, the process of falling in love, is something inexplicable, something absolutely subjective. There is even that advice, don't be yourself, keep living life and one day it will happen, one day you will find that person who corresponds to you. And yes, the truth is that living life, we, letting ourselves be carried away by our instincts and emotions, most of the time, connect with people, we connect, we fall in love, but these people are not always so reciprocal, and it is unlikely, if this process is not done consciously, let these people be compatible with us. Furthermore, science has shown that passion is not something inexplicable. Have you ever noticed that there are people who seem very lukewarm, uninteresting, who have difficulty winning a relationship, making someone reciprocate? There are other people who seem passionate, who are very easy to attract and conquer through personality, conversation, charisma, manners, and this is due to a factor that science has already demonstrated, that passion, falling in love, is totally influenced by the other person's behavior. Passion, from the point of view of the brain, is a state that activates various neurotransmitters and hormones, such as dopamine and adrenaline, and awakens the same sensations as obsession, compulsion, and even stress. And if passion, after all, is greatly influenced by behavior, and if behavior today takes place face to face, people connect face to face in a gym, in the work environment, in a party, in church, connections also occur, perhaps in the same proportion of time, in the virtual world. And just as a conversation on a face to face date has the power to move a woman, the same goes for messages on WhatsApp. And the great proof of this is the number of people who start long distance relationships, knowing each other only through the internet, sometimes people from different countries, because this passion arises through messages in the online world, on social networks. In 1997, Arthur Aaron, a psychology professor at the State University of New York, conducted a widely known experiment showing that certain types of questions created a huge tendency to connect and generate passion between two people. And these were the kind of questions that went beyond the obvious of small talk. In 2015, Arthur Aaron's scientific and social experiment became a viral article that was published in the New York Times. Based on all this science and the certainty that there are certain types of conversation that have the power to awaken and accelerate passion, I have brought you three powerful messages that make a woman fall in love. However, it is important that you understand the context in which we are talking. I'm not saying that I'm going to give you three sentences, and that you're going to take one of those sentences and say it to a woman on the street, that you're going to pick up a woman on the street, that you're going to do something to her. Ask like that, and he's going to fall in love with you. It is not like this. These phrases are intended to be used in a context where you are meeting the woman, you have her contact details on WhatsApp, you are flirting, the conversation is developing. And then you realize when it is possible to fit one of these questions. She has already revealed some information, you have also told her a little about yourself, the conversation is developing. And then you realize that in the middle of the conversation, on WhatsApp, there is a space for these questions. And you will understand it better when I show you each of these questions, these messages. The first message that has the power to create a deep connection with a woman and ignite the spark of passion is the question, what is your biggest dream? This is a very powerful question because the chances are almost zero, if not in a lifetime, that someone has asked a woman this question. And I want you now to put yourself in the opposite position. If someone asked you, what is your biggest dream, think about how you would approach telling them your dream with all your energy. And it would awaken positive emotions in you, because you would be talking about your greatest dream. So when you ask a woman this question, what is your biggest dream, she is going to have to search inside her mind for pleasant images, thoughts, goals. Various emotions will be aroused, and these emotions will be neuroassociated with you, 
the one who asked the question. Note that you are not going to use this in a WhatsApp conversation. For example, you're going to ask them a bunch of stupid questions, hey, where do you like to go out? I like the beach. And then you ask, and what is your biggest dream? No. You progress in conversations, for example, learning more about the woman's work, why she chose the profession she chose, learning a little about what she really likes to do. It's not just about what you like to go out with. And little by little, this conversation evolves to the point where you can insert a question like this. Another very powerful message to make a woman fall in love, tell me something about yourself that not many people know. This message is extremely powerful and, from that moment on, you enter a high level of connection with the woman. She will bring up something she is curious about, something specific, and share it with you. And it's something that not many people know, which means that she will feel more intimate, that she can trust you more, that you are a man who can protect her, who can keep her secrets, her things. And a last very powerful message to awaken passion, what do you like most about being in a relationship? But this last message, in particular, you should not use without context. What is it without context? You have the woman's WhatsApp, you are messaging, you are not talking about relationships, you are not on the subject, and you send her a message like that. No. You will send a message like this when he asks you if you have had a relationship, you will tell him yes or no, you will ask him, he may ask you why your last relationship ended, he may ask you what your moment in life is, if fun is more your thing or you want something more solid. And so in this context, in this topic about relationships that you can bring up or that can come up in your conversation, you ask, what do you like most about being in a relationship? This question is amazing because this woman will bring up positive aspects that she sees about being in a relationship. I like it because I feel protected. I like the company, I like someone to share ideas with, I like intimate moments. She will bring the pleasure of the relationship. As long as these emotions come, she will also associate them with you. And you're talking about relationships, about what you like most, without being in a relationship yet. So, you are having an affair with this woman, you may be staying with this woman, and generating this desire in her to have a relationship with you, just leaving this time of mystery. So you've asked this question, but you're not talking about the two of you being in a relationship. You're just asking her, as if she doesn't want anything, what she likes most about being in a relationship. And would you like to learn exactly how to calibrate your online conversations, how to approach a woman on Instagram, in a dating app, the best approaches that increase the chances of a response, how to have online conversations that generate connection, desire, passion, that make that a woman wants to meet you in person, and also how to create a very attractive profile on social networks and dating apps that increases the chances of likes, of targets from interesting women? So now you have to join my secret group, which is going on, and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with everything, leave a like so we can reach the goal of 300 likes. If you've made it this far, comment below with the word 100% to confirm that you learned about this video. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, let's move on. The powerful technique that removes the unconscious of women. And in this video, I'm going to show you a powerful technique that touches a woman's unconscious. I'm Pamela Raquel, Relationship Coach. I am a specialist in conquest, and on this channel, I open for you, I break for you, the women's code. I really teach what makes a woman feel attracted, that she likes a guy, that she wants to go to bed with him, that she feels attracted in every way to this man, regardless of whether the relationship is short or long term. With the This technique, which touches the unconscious of women, comes from the fact that everything, everything that has more value in the universe of humanity is more scarce. Everything that has more value is more scarce. So if you think about everything that exists in our universe, everything that has the most monetary value, that has the most sentimental value for people, are things that are scarce. If you think about gold, for example, it is just a stone, a stone like any other, but why does it have a high value? Because it is a stone that is difficult to extract, difficult to find. And all our stones that exist here where we walk, if they were made of gold, here where we walk, their value would be reduced to zero. Why is that? 
because our brains, from the beginning, have been conditioned to value and acquire what is most scarce. Okay, how am I going to convey the image that I am a scarce man if my city has more than 3 million, 4 million young people? How am I going to convey the image that I am scarce? How am I going to convey this image? And it is very easy to transmit it, because you are going to make your scarcity known through your attitudes, never with words. So you're not going to say that I'm a man with a very busy schedule, you know? I'm a very rare person, so you're not going to encounter me in the same way. And you're not going to say it, obviously. You are going to show it through subtleties, in the attitudes you have towards her. So when you're going to ask this woman out, you're going to say, how about we go out this week? Then she'll say, oh, great, and so on. Then you will tell him, look, this week I can only do it on Wednesday, after my CrossFit, from 8 to 10 p.m. How about we go to Restaurant X? Then she will realize that throughout the week you have very busy times, and that you can only do it on Wednesday, from 8 to 10 at night. And believe me, he will love that, he will admire it, he will begin to understand that you are a man who has a life, that you have a professional life, a social life, a full life, a life that you enjoy. And in your unconscious, this will reflect that you are a scarce man. Likewise, you're not going to spend 24 hours on WhatsApp. She took it, she left work, you were there in the afternoon, you were online. Then, 8 p.m., you're online, 11 p.m., send me tomorrow, you're online. You are not going to do that, because it will give the impression that you are busy, that you are available at any time. And, in fact, you are busy. I am available many hours a day, and I like to be on WhatsApp and outside of these social networks. And what you have to do is stop doing that. All this will convey the image that you are not at all scarce, that you are a man without goals, that you are a man who does not have a full life, a fulfilled life, that you have no other options. And now, most importantly, this shortage I speak of cannot be a lie. I mean, if you start telling him that after CrossFit, from 8 in the morning until 10 at night on Wednesday, you will say that, but in reality you have been at home all week, you don't have any sports to go to, you don't have no book to read, no subject to study, no work to do, women will notice, they will notice your inconsistency, your lack of consistency in your brain. So it has to be real, it has to be true. How do I make it real for you? You have to start filling the empty spaces in your life with a routine that you like. You can join a gym, boxing classes, yoga classes, Krav Mega classes, read those books you've always wanted to read, play ball with your friends, help your grandfather at work every week, learn to cook new recipes. Meditate. This way you will fill your life with things that you like. This way you will fill your life with things with meaning, building a life that you enjoy. And then that shortage will be real. And when you tell him that you really had that space in your schedule, it will also give him the image that you are a real man. You are not a child, you are a man, and you take your obligations seriously, and you enjoy your routine, regardless of it. Well that. Use the scarcity trigger and share your results here in the comments. If you liked this video, please click like and help me a lot, because YouTube understands that this content is relevant. If I have helped you, please like it for me and subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button. Well that's all. Kisses goodbye. If you've made it this far, comment below with the word 100% to confirm that you learned about this video. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, let's move on.